Gordon, what happened in Westgate Park last night? Just about everything, I think. We didn't have enough policemen there to hold out, you know, hold back the people. And uh, this has happened to us a lot of times, you know, the promoters and whoever it is who's running it, they, uh, you know, they say, oh, we'll get, we'll get piles of policemen and it'll be all fine. And then we get there and we find sort of half a dozen policemen and sometimes they just get knocked straight over and you see the crowd and then you see the policemen coming up through the back of them, you know. And we, you know, always stop the show and then someone goes out and says, now you kids get back and they'll finish the show. And this has happened a hundred times to us, you know, all over the place. In the England, in England we usually have about 30 or 40 policemen everywhere, you know. And Isn't this good publicity for you though? It's good publicity in a way, for publicity, but when people come to see a show I think it's unfair that, you know, they should have it ruined. And it's unfair on us as well that we should, you know, not be able to do an act no, all we were doing last night was sort of saying, this song is called so-and-so, do it, and then someone would come on and say, stop. And even halfway through the songs yesterday, they uh, said, you know, stop the show. And we, and we were looking at them and we said, no, don't be stupid, we're not going to stop. And so they just pulled our microphones out. You had quite a riotous reception at the airport uh, yesterday also, didn't you? Well, it was, it was good, it was a good reception, but apparently it was better earlier on, you know because our plane was late. Rather, we missed, we missed one plane. And, uh, were your clothes ripped off of you in either place, either at Westgate Park or at the uh, airport? They were ripped off. They were just sort of loosened a bit, you know. The other day, we had these flaps on the back of our jackets were, were taken off. You know, I mean, it was pulled down and there was just a rip up the back of it, you know. But Gordon, how do you explain the popularity of this uh, hairstyle? I got a face in it. What? I, uh, oh, well, I, I think it's... Obviously, you know, now it's because of the Beatles it's become popular. But before this, it was art students who started it. John Lennon was an art student once, I think. And um, it just sort of got popular because it's easier to look after. It just sort of falls in place. And you get up in the morning, and instead of it sticking up in the air, it's all over your face, you know. So you just sort of pull it to the side like that. Whoops. And, uh, you know, it just sort of goes, and it's easier to look after. Why do you think the girls go crazy over uh, the Beatle-type performers? Excuse me. I don't know. I don't know many Beatle-type. I mean, we're nothing like the Beatles in performing. You know, their act is completely different to ours. We do sort of folk songs occasionally, and we do ravey songs. In fact, we try to sort of put a mixture of everything into it. Would you say that your conduct and appearance is sort of a rebellion against adults? No, not at all. I mean, we, play, we used to play to adult audiences in clubs and in theatres, and obviously our act changes for them. We know we don't jump around so much. But uh, I love playing to both audiences. You know, it's great to have a, a screamy audience on one side, and then an audience who'll listen to you, and then clap at the end, and you feel good, you know, whatever happens. Do you think this craze will continue for an indefinite period, or are you just cashing in on it while it's going strong now? Well, we used to, we used to sing entirely folk songs. And then we, we got this recording contract and made a record. And uh, it happened, so we're singing this, and, you know, it, it's good fun. We're going around the world, which uh, I'd probably never do any other time. You know, I'd probably never come to America, because I couldn't afford it. Is it your sister or Peter's that's uh, a fiancé of one of the Beatles? Neither. Peter's sister goes out with one of the Beatles, but it's not fiancé or anything. I mean, it wouldn't be worth it. There was a rumor that one of the Beatles uh, had been married, uh, an additional one. An additional one. Well, well, there's John one who's already married. John Lennon is married, and it's a, a rumor that Paul is married to Jane Asher. Is that true? But it's not true. I mean, they go out with each other just like we go out with people occasionally. You know, it just so happens that someone decided to make something of it, and it's sort of getting, you know, big. This is my plane coming up. Yeah, you're about ready to leave, and it's going to be a much quieter departure than the arrival was yesterday, isn't it? Uh, I hope so, yeah.